Hey there thinkers, welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is Est, and so the tireless crusade of the perpetually outraged left to cancel JK Rowling is back. And this time they've hit a wall named HBO. The network gave a polite but firm meh to the mob, confirming Rowling's involvement in the upcoming Harry Potter series. HBO even tossed in a classy mic drop, stating that she's entitled to her opinions. Oh my gosh. And doubling down on how her input will help elevate the project. So naturally, this has set X ablaze yet again, with Rowling wearing her crown as queen of the uncancelable status like it's a new accessory. However, I have a few things to say here, but before I do, we have a small request. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button, smashing that like, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. We would greatly appreciate this, since this will help us appease those YouTube algorithm gods, so we thank you. Now, let me give you our thoughts on this, and let's get into it. So HBO is standing by JK Rowling as they turn Harry Potter into a TV series with Rowling right there in the thick of it. Shocking, really, because considering that she wrote the most successful book series of all time, but however, her critics are mostly the loudest voices on X and the radical leftist circles. They've slapped her with the turf label because she dared to have opinions about gender that don't align with their worldview. Like Rowling's unyielding stance that men are men and women are women, and biology is real, has turned parts of her fan base into pitchfork wielding villagers. These are the same fans who used to obsess over the books and flock to the theme parks. Now act like she personally avada cadavered their childhoods just for saying what she believes. Like, try as they might, the world just can't seem to quit JK Rowling, despite the relentless backlash and the boycott campaigns. Her Harry Potter empire is not only surviving, it's thriving. Like, the books still selling, the movies timeless staples, the theme parks expanding like magical weeds, and Hogwarts Legacy? Like, come on, that was the best-selling game of 2023. So much for that boycott. And meanwhile, HBO is charging ahead with its shiny new series, unbothered by the noise. And their message? Rowling's cash cow of a franchise is too lucrative to sideline. So outrage be damned. It's almost as if profitability beats cancel culture, like every time. The uproar against HBO has been deafening, with critics accusing them of cozying up to transphobia. One particularly biting comment goes, amazing how transphobia always gets spun as a difference of opinion. If she were spewing racism or anti-Semitism, it would be a whole different ballgame. Like, meanwhile, Rowling's defenders are out in full force, insisting she's not transphobic, but simply a crusader for common sense, women's rights, privacy, and safety. So Rowling, ever the diplomat, continues to proclaim her respect for transgender people, while also making sure everyone knows that she's doubling down on the importance of biological sex in debates about same-sex attraction and women's experiences. Because apparently, nuance means never letting anyone forget where you stand. Rowling's fans are quick to parade her thoughtful takes, like, if sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. Well, meanwhile, her critics aren't really buying it, branding her opinions as dangerous and accusing her of throwing gasoline on an already blazing culture war bonfire. HBO clinging to Rowling isn't about standing up for principles, it's about protecting their bottom line. And no amount of X outrage is going to change that. As one critic aptly put it, if she weren't JK Rowling, she'd be canceled faster than you can say Expelliarmus. But Rowling's magical bankability makes her untouchable, letting her shrug off the haters and keep churning out the content that prints money. Oh, the aged old tale that is Hollywood, where only the chosen ones with big platforms or enough clout can share their opinions without getting roasted. For the rest? 
Silence is golden because expressing yourself might just lead to a career ending cancellation. It's almost as if this whole JK Rowling drama is a perfect case study for how free speech works for those who can afford the consequences. Apparently, in the land of entertainment, ideological conformity is the price of admission, and economic incentives rule the roost. So shocking, I know. And it's so adorable when people just slap the conservative label on something just because it involves, oh, you know, basic respect for biological realities. So if you happen to think men are men and women are women, and maybe believe women should have their own spaces, privacy, sports, safety, and I don't know, the right to exist in peace, then congratulations, you are now part of the conservative resurgence. Never mind that JK Rowling doesn't even identify as a conservative, but hey, who needs facts when you can just redefine everything? And the real kicker here is that she seems conservative because the left has veered so so far off the rails, they left all the reasonable people standing at the station wondering what the heck happened. These reasonable people are suddenly labeled as conservatives all because the goalposts have been moved so far that they're practically in another zip code. Like JK Rowling has always been a feminist and a classic liberal, but now apparently she's conservative because everyone's retreated into their cozy little echo chamber. Like God forbid anyone step outside and question things. No, no, because it's way easier to slap a transphobic label on anyone who dares to breathe differently. Oh, and guess what? HBO is apparently in the same boat now too. Wow, how convenient. Now let's go ahead and clear the air here because HBO is not coming out and defending JK Rowling because the culture has become increasingly transphobic and now they feel comfortable doing so. No, no, that's not what's happening here. I also don't think that HBO has woken up and become base conservatives or gender critical overnight. Like HBO is doing what's in their best interest, defending JK Rowling because she's going to make a lot of money for them. And I wholeheartedly believe that if this were a lesser creator sharing the same views that JK Rowling has been posting publicly online, like they'd be gone in a heartbeat. Like their stuff would be in a cardboard box before you could even say the word transphobia. Like just look at JK Rowling. She's like living the dream of being so famous and loaded that literally anything that she touches turns to gold. It's like she has this magical aura around her and whatever she does is bound to rake in the cash. Like HBO is not defending her because they care about her opinions or women's rights because spoiler, they don't. They're in it for their bottom line. Like they're already sunk a boatload of cash into the Harry Potter TV series and they know it's going to bring them that nice fat return. And Rowling's got a knack for making bank on whatever she's involved in. Always has and always will. Okay, look, because HBO actually prioritizing the storyline and project over bowing down to the left-leaning ideology, which is very shocking because honestly, it's a rare exception because in most cases, HBO can't resist shoving their political agenda down our throats, which is typical. And don't even get me started on JK Rowling. Covering her has been a harsh reminder of just how messed up Hollywood and the entertainment industry really is. Like, it's pathetic that you need this kind of platform or the social status she has to speak your mind, stand your ground, and still create. Like, think about how many talented creatives we're missing out on because they're either too scared to speak up or have flat out given up on the industry. Like, unwilling to kiss the ring of whatever ideological line they're supposed to follow. It's just sad. And just forget all the political drama and online tantrums. When you actually write a story that hits at real human emotions and truths? Like, it doesn't matter what the latest internet outrage is. JK Rowling gets it. HBO is not stupid. They know who the real talent is, which is why they're standing by her while the cancel culture mob throws their fists. However, those are my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And hey, before you go, subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. As always, this is Est, and I'm signing off now. So I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!